All right. Um, I'm going to assume you guys see this GitHub page, right? Awesome. Okay. So this demo is about setting up a stage environment, a test environment when you're working with GitHub pages. A little background on GitHub pages. But GitHub pages allows you to host any static web page through GitHub solely for free. It's got limitations on how much you can really host, but that's never really reached, hasn't been reached yet. So if you want to continue hosting on GitHub pages, it's pretty easy. So I'm using a React app and I can easily set up some GitHub workflows, which deploy that environment. The issue with that is when you want to have a stage environment or a test environment, then you, you can't because GitHub um, restricts only one deployment per repository. So this demo is a little bit how me and Frito got around this. Um, first is to break up the environments into different repositories. So we wanted a stage environment. So now we also have a stage repository. This repository is completely locked down. No one can make requests, issues, whatever. All it is is just holding some static uh, web page code. And then we also have the main repository over here, which where people can make issues, pull requests, and it works like just any other repository um, that's inside Thoth Station. So you can, bots work, everything's fine. And when you do a pull request, this is where a little bit, everything gets a little bit more tricky. Instead of it pulling in before, it would pull into the master branch and then that would be deployed into the uh, GitHub pages branch, which is where, oh, that's 404 out, but it would, uh, deploy into the GitHub pages branch, which would have all the static code. Instead, what we do now is you set up different deployment workflows. So you have a deploy stage, which instead of deploying to this repository, it deploys to this repository over here. So this source code in this repository will always be deployed with the latest version of it inside this uh, repository over here and that can be deployed into this thought station ninja search stage which is the stage environment and that works fine now whenever you want to actually do a new major release or minor release and you need to uh, I guess get the production up then you need obviously you would make the new pull request for not pull request uh, you would make a new issue and you do new minor release or new major release. And then the bots will take over. It would create that release. So then if we go into issues, not issues, uh, I'm in the wrong repository. You go into uh, actions, it would automatically do a deploy production, which triggers when a, uh, a, brand, uh, a tag is made. So when tag uh, 000 was made, then uh, the production would get deployed and then this URL or this endpoint right here, which is the production endpoint would be updated with the most recent release code. While this will also still have the most recent release code as well, because that also gets updated whenever you merge the master. So this in the end gives you a workaround to deploying to GitHub pages without having to do anything weird with looking at different repositories like you don't need to touch this repository at all and you don't have to deploy it in different spots everything works exactly the same as it would in any thoth uh, repository it's just behind the scenes it acts a little different but from the surface it's all the same um, i think that's it cool um that's good the the continuous integration is always good and um, that's really good the the one thing that is uh, uh, interesting somehow uh, why is that action on the toss station allowed to write into the gauge krumbach uh, repository it's um that those both those repositories are being stored in thaw station so thaw station has a a search repository and a search um stage repository and there is a, the, the, the whole thing that makes this work is there is a uh, environment key or a key, a secret that's stored in GitHub that allows access to 
make pull, uh, pull requests and commits to different repository inside Thaw Station. I see. Which is hidden from the workflow, so that's not shown. Okay, I see. So there's a little bit of Git, uh, Git action configuration that we need to do, right? Um, Git action configuration. Uh, well, since the secret's already set up, anyone can use that same secret. It's it's a okay. shared secret throughout the entire organization. So you would really just have to duplicate that those th two workflows for going to different environments or going okay. to different repositories. Cool. Well, thanks. Other questions? Nope. Thank you, Gage.